My grandma uh, brought me up in the church, uh, old school, you know, Pentecostal, you know, hellfire and brimstone. Um, so I'm no stranger to the Lord. I moved back to SAC after getting divorced. Um, I went to church out there, but it wasn't for me. It was for my, my ex-wife. I just wanted to go to church because she said we needed to. I would praise and all that, but my heart really wasn't into it. I, I put her above God. I, she was my everything. And when she left, like, you know, my life was over. I didn't play football anymore. I, you know, started drinking and smoking weed all the time just to numb the pain and contemplated things. And I just, I knew I needed to go home or I, I was gonna do something to myself that I couldn't take back. So one of my friends from, uh, high school, you know, contacted me, told me to come and train. I'm like, train what? I was like, oh, I'll do that MMA stuff. I'm like, ah, I don't know, man. I'm kind of pretty, you know. I don't want to mess up my face too much. And he kept bugging me, you know. I was lifting weights, trying to get into bodybuilding. That was too easy. You know, it's not athletic. I'm an athlete. So I went and tried, got choked out a few times, and I liked it. Eight months later, I was fighting pro. So, okay, I have something now. So I'm not really going to church, but I have something. I'm fighting, you know, I'm taking fights, I'm winning, and I'm getting all this praise, and I'm this and I'm that, and you know, I felt like I mattered again. He was gone, he was not in the room with me. And I felt alone, I was scared. You know, I felt like the devil was like, like he had his hooks in my back, man, and I couldn't move. And it was one of the scariest feelings I ever had in my life, just sitting there on the couch, man, just alone and dark. And I knew I had to clean it up. I moved downtown, joined Uriah Faber's Ultimate Fitness, kind of a new start. You know, I'm praying, I'm reading my Bible, but it's not enough. And I run into Silly, and she says, hey, you should try my church. And I'm like, uh, where is it? Uh, I don't know. You know, I gave her every excuse in the book. Uh, I'm training, I'm tired, you know, I'm hungry, whatever. She's like, okay, come to the workshop, the Bible study. I'm like, all right, I can do that. And as soon as I went in there, I just felt God's love. You know, it was just apparent, people were nice. And, they were real and they had real problems and they talked about it and I got to meet Jason and Jason was awesome. You know, Project Church was talking to me. God was talking to me and I was listening. You know, I was tired of just doing it on my own. Can't do it on my own. Every time I try to do things on my own, it's just a torpedo. So I stuck with the Bible study for about a, about a month and a half, I think. And I went to church and you know, y'all were singing and praising the Lord, praising the Lord. And it's like, man, I could just feel my grandma just smiling, you know. I talked to her every day and I could just feel her happy. I could feel Jesus right there with me. And ever since then, I, I never looked back. So I'm like, you know what? You know, I come to church and you brung up the fact, or you brung up who wants to get baptized? And everything in my body was like, nope, don't raise your hand. Don't, you, you're good, you just, you know, you're straight now. And God was like, you need to get baptized. And you need to recommit yourself. So I raised my hand and ran up there. You know, jumped in that water, you dunked me down, you know, and just felt renewed, man. And I never want to go back to that again. I can't, you know, His, his grace is, better than any high, any adrenaline rush I've ever felt, you know, I don't want to lose that, ever.